Hey guys, welcome back. If you remember at the end of the last episode, this hauler turned up with all this cool stuff. Uh, we're buying a thousand coal, uh, uh, 800 logs, uh, 375 stone and 400 iron. Let's trade that because that's all we could afford. Uh, am I going to keep this guy and buy the rest? Nah, I'm just going to get rid of him because we want to get on with doing other stuff. Right, I think that's all the traders dealt with. Oh, we've got one more trader. What have you got? Rubbish. Go away. Okay, that's dealt with all the traders. So, let's get back over to our silkworm huts. We've got uh, another one of these coming along. How are we doing in terms of production? We've produced anything yet? No, not yet. Not yet. What are they now? Yeah, he's got his, but we've got the mulberry leaves. So, that's all it needs is the mulberry leaves. And we should start producing some eggs soon. Now, this... We can crank this up to two. We can allocate two more guys. So we now got two of these producing. So first, um, uh, now this will produce, you know what, we'll produce silkworm eggs as well. Because I want to get the huts going. Once we've got that going, then uh, once we've got a lot of huts, then we can change this to producing cocoons. And the cocoons we'll give to our weavers to produce uh, silk. And we've got these houses in now, which is kind of nice. Oh, I, I've got to say, guys, I'm absolutely loving this. Right, you know what? Um, let's do let's do a little bit of barn action. Now, I'm thinking we've probably got room for two of these, two of these over here. There may be a road, road, and then a couple of barns or something. That's kind of the setup I'm thinking of. Um, kind of depends how productive these are. We'll see. And, and like it depends on how like how many leaves these use up. I've got no idea. I'm really looking forward to finding out. I love doing new stuff in this. This is what's so great about Colonial Charter. We've got the cotton going on over. Now that means that we can um, we can have the like a bunch of weavers all together doing the the cotton and the silk, and then uh, we can produce all kinds of cool stuff. Now we had that linen. Do you remember we bought that linen? In the last episode let's whiz over here a second and see is the mill getting built and it's got built we can put in our miller now in fact if we if we can yeah we can put we can put more millers in two yeah we can put two millers in so let's boom let's have a couple of millers and we'll start milling all of this down barley that we've made that we've grown made <laughs> grown right let you know what let's have a look in the town hall Let's sort this by quantity and see, because I reckon we've got, look, we've got like 3,000 flowers sitting around. Good grief. So if that, if we've been, if we've been grinding up, if we've got 3,000 flowers, where the hell did 3,000 flour come from? I must have bought it, I guess. Where is the uh, barley? Where's the barley? An actual fact, you know what, I need to go back over here because... I need to actually set that mill to use barley because it's probably defaulting to wheat. Yeah, there, there you go. See, we need to change this to barley. There we go. Right. And you know what would be a really good idea? Would be to put in a grain silo, wouldn't it? Of course it would. Of course it would. Here's a grain silo. So how about we put in a grain silo? Like, where can we fit? Oh, we, oh a grain silo will fit in there, which is kind of nice. Uh, I think I'm going to flip it around the other way, though. Have it like that. Oh, and it just fits. Let's pop the grain silo in there. Boom. Alrighty. We're getting organised. We are getting organised. Very, very, very slowly. Now, you guys have been nagging me to put in an adventurer, so we're putting in an adventurer as well. And boom. We have an adventurer. Cool. So, uh, we may get a few artefacts, which will to help us out but we've got loads and loads and loads of logs now so we should be on maximum firewood uh, production which is going to be great here come another bunch of merchants <laughs> now i what i'm going to start doing is um i think but like at the end of this episode i'm going to set up um like auto auto purchasing on a whole bunch of this stuff like like all the food oh dude sugar cookies <laughs> uh no no, we're going to produce our own blooming sugar cookies. We've got 33,000 food, so we're not desperate for food. So you can go away. 
You have got... Oh, same deal. 6,000 rice. God, I don't even know what you use rice for. Probably use it for something. We've got 4,000 barley. Uh, but, no. Nah, go away. Right. Now, because of those two guys, it means that we're going to get the other two coming fairly soon. Here they come. Here they come. Is there anything that we can have a quick look at before they arrive? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can look at the production on these. Are you producing anything yet? Yes! Oh, man. 48 silkworm eggs. Wow. And how many have you produced? He's produced 30. You know what? Um, that's 78. That's over... I, I, you know what? I'm going to switch production to, uh, we're going to switch production to silk cocoons and change the production to silk cocoons. Right, because we've got enough, I think, for all the ones that we want. Right, uh, pigs and llamas, we've already got. Don't need you, so you can go. Thanks very much. And what's this guy brought? This guy's brought... Uh, some cloth. Now, some cloth would actually be handy to have in stock just in case. So we'll take that. Sunflower seeds. Oh, I want to see those. Sunflowers are very cool. I want to see what that looks like. We're taking those. Uh, don't need any of this. Maple seeds. Oh, we can make like maple syrup and stuff. Should we have maple seeds? I don't know whether we can afford all this, but we'll give it a try. Uh, silk cocoons we don't need. Uh, grape seeds. Oh, we can get the wine going. Let's see if we can afford... Uh, tamarind, hemp. No, no, no. Right, cool. That's... So uh, we want um, 10,000. We can. I think we can afford this. We can afford this, like, easily. What's that, like 2,500? I think it's 2,500, isn't it, guys? Boom. Oh, uh, 10,666. So let's crank up a little bit more. Uh, 10, 6, 6. Need two more. Uh, no. 6, 6. Oh, no. 10, 60. So another 20, which is another 5. Yep, that's it. Trade it. And dismiss. Oh, I really want to see the sunflower seeds. Uh, the sunflowers grow. They're going to be, they're going to look really cool. Right, let's get back to our blooming silkworms. Because this is what I'm really, really interested in. So... Silkworms. We're going to put in, like I said, a couple more silkworm huts. And am I going to have these like the opposite way around? Because I've got, you know, I've got those facing that. I think I might put them in this way. Just to be kind of a little bit different. So we'll put bum and bum. Right. And we've got enough to put uh, some more up here. Now I'm going to leave room for a road. And I'm going to put two facing that way like did I put that in the right place yeah I did two that way spin it around and then I'm going to have two that way all right so we've got so we've got eight of those now I don't know whether we're going to be producing enough mulberry leaves to support all of those I mean we, like we'll just have to see but I want to do some barn action. So um, we need some barns for like this stuff to be stored in and whatever. So how about we go for... Now, um... Oh, now this stores all the textile stuff. Which would be kind... You know, and we've... Oh, look at this building. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. How about we have one of these there to store the textiles that, that's being produced, right? And then, like, behind it, we put in a, a regular storage barn. Like there. And we can uh, convert that to... Uh, we can upgrade that. Let oh, uh, oh, it won't quite go in. Oh, you're kidding me. I've got a merchant. But I don't really care about the merchant, to be honest. Um, we, we may have to do a slightly different alignment. And what's this guy got? Oh, uh, he's brought some stone, coal, firewood. He's just, he's just brought a little bit of... 
a little bit of stone, a little bit of coal. Yeah, am I even going to worry about it? No, go away. Thanks for coming, though. Uh, right, let's get this back going. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, this barn layout, this barn layout, because, I don't know. I, did I put that, did I actually put that on the road? I think I did, but I'm just going to double check because, let's get rid of that. Let's try that again, because if I can, if I can fit this in, I'd love to get this in. Yeah, I think I did. Man, this is a big building. So, if we put that there, can I get a storage barn in behind? No, I can't. Not unless I take the road out. But you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. So, we're going to take that bit of road out. Because they'll, they'll walk across there. I, I don't really care too much. Now, and then we can put roads down the side. That'll work nicely. Then over here, we want to do kind of a similar thing. So we'll put in a, where is it? Storage barn. So the storage barn will go there. And I'm going to have it that way around because it'll look better that way around. And then we want the dry storage. Now this time, uh, which way round am I going to have the dry storage? Oh, But he can't fit two of them in. They do, oh God, these buildings look good. I really, really, really do like them. You know, I'm going to turn it around and have it that way, just because like, I tend to be looking at the map from this direction. So I'm going to put it there. Like, yeah, uh, that, that is better from a space perspective. Oh, no, I'm going, to, I'm going to put it in that way. I'm going to put it in that way. Right, let's get a bit of a stone road going across here yep that's where I want it yeah although see that's there you know what I might do a double I might do a double road so you know what let's run that all the way down there and I might just have a bit of a double road across there why not why not that's how affluent these silk farmers are <laughs> oh yes Right, having done that, we then want some houses for, for these guys working up here. So, um, God, like, how excited am I about this stuff? Like, it's a crazy, isn't it? But you, I mean, you've got to love it. So, we're going to have house there. And then I'm going to have... I, I'd really like to kind of space this out better than I did at the other end. So we want a house there. So then I'm going to leave like one space, boom. And then we'll do one space on the other end. So one space, boom. And then what does that leave us? That leaves us with one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, I think. So we'll put it there. There we go. Right, cool. Ho, 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 ho. Kick it off. Go, 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 guys. Build, build, build. I've got to say, like, Banished was was almost getting, uh, like, a little, well, like, that, it wasn't getting boring, but it was kind of getting, like, maybe, like, a little bit, like, yeah, what can I do now? But I love it when you just find something new that you haven't done before. So we want to run that up the side of there. We want to run this up the side of here. There. Right, then I should still have room to put in a storage barn like that. Now, which way round am I going to have this? I think I'm going to have it that way around. Yeah, I'm going to have it that way around. Okay, uh, we had a hang on, pause because we had a merchant somewhere. If I haven't already missed him, here he is. What did you want? Uh, another food guy. They're bringing loads of sugar cookies. They're really trying to palm off the sugar cookies. No, go away. Don't want sugar cookies. How can we allocate like more people? Um, what about like fishermen and stuff like that? Yeah, we can crank up three more fishermen. Let's do that. We. Uh, what about like hunters and stuff like that? Hunters. We're at six of six hunters. Uh, gatherers. What about gatherers? We're at eight of eight gatherers. 
I'm thinking in these two areas over here, we should um, start adding some more stuff. Right. You know what? Let's have a quick look at these guys. There's four. Yeah, there's, they're, they're maxed out. And they're, they are planting. So that's good. Really tempted to put another one in down here. But I think we, we should um, we should throw in a hunter and a gatherer in uh, in these places. So where are we? What do we want? This is um, this is food production. So it should be raw food gathering. Here we go. Hunting cabin. So we want a hunting cabin, which we'll put in there, and we'll put a hunting cabin. Now this is on the other side, so we need to flip this around. So we'll put the hunting cabin like uh, there right and then we'll take a gatherer flip that around we'll put a gatherer in there and then where are we going to put the gatherer in on this side flip it around and put it there yeah it seems to be a good plan right then we want to, so we want some more houses because we've got more people working there so wooden house flip this around and we'll put it house and house and flip it around and house so that's uh, another one two three which is another six uh four five yeah that's yeah we're look, we're actually like one house short for ideal so i just added like one two three four didn't i yep so in that case we're going to need to do the same over here so you know what i'm going to put like uh one two at that end and I'm going to put two at this end one flip it around and two at that end there we go right so that is going to be like a whole bunch more food production wow look at all of this going on we're churning out the firewood look at this seven and a half thousand firewood let's get rid of the houses oh, go away and uh, how how are we doing, like inventory wise? This is up to three thousand, so that, so he's he's fully stocked. This guy is three thousand, fully stocked. How are we doing on the herb front? Now that's the we're up to three thousand herbs here. So these guys are probably full. Yeah, three thousand herbs. This guy hasn't got any herbs yet. Right, so change the inventory. Uh, I'm going to change the firewood. Um, we'll keep a thousand firewood, I think. Where's firewood? F F F F F F F F firewood. We'll, I think we'll keep a thousand firewood in there. So one thousand firewood. And where are we? Herbs. H. Herbs. Let's put three thousand herbs in. That gives us well, that gives us like sixteen thousand that we can spend, which is um, like a fair amount. So that's pretty darn good. This isn't full of herbs yet. Uh, this isn't full of firewood yet, sorry. Oh, they're emptying it, which is a good thing. Right, we've got... Um, this guy has arrived. What have you brought us? Bedding, tobacco leaves, uh, linen. Uh, do I want more linen? Uh, we've got another trader arrived. You know what? The only thing I'm going to take from this guy, I think, we'll take uh, some linen. I need to get a bedding maker going. That I really do need to do. Let's um, let's sell some of these herbs. What do I want to sell? 40 herbs. Yep. Trade that. Boom. Done. Right. Let's check this guy out. Glassware. Cotton, leather, pearls. Uh, a native artifact. <laughs> They're selling them to us. Boneheads. Um, no. Nothing. I don't think there's anything I want from this guy. No. 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 You can go away. Thanks very much. All right. Let's check out our silkworm huts because they'll be um, they'll be ready to go. So cocoons, yes, that's what we want. Let's crank you up to two. We'll crank you up to two cocoons. Oh, this one hasn't quite got built yet. Uh, crank you up to two. You up to two. I'm thinking we're going to need more mulberry leaves, but but we'll see. That's up to two. That's up to two. So, silk farmers. 16 silk farmers. Good grief. 
we need some more people. We're down to like uh, 15 laborers only. But we're getting this, uh, we're getting the barns built and everything. The barns will help these guys in terms of production. What are these, what, what are these producing? Are these producing yet? Not yet, they're not fully grown yet. Quite nice though, these uh, mulberry bushes, aren't they? There's two types of mulberry leaf, uh, mulberry bush. There's white and red, I think, and the white produced the mulberry leaves for the silkworms. And the red, I think, produced the mulberry berries. I think that's the way it works. We've got the cotton going on. We've got tons of herbs being produced. Oh, we've got a guy here. Um, oh, didn't I dismiss you? Go away. And what we've got over here? We've got another guy over here. No, I don't want any of that. Dismiss. And this guy will be coming soon. I'm probably going to completely ignore him. Yeah, that's that guy gone. Right. Now, what are you saying? You are out of logs? Man, see, we've got so many of these woodcutters. They burn through the logs so fast. I think we've actually got, like, too much going on. And look at all of this. <laughs> we need more stockpiles. Can you believe that? We actually need more stockpiles. We've got so much stuff being produced. See, what is this? So we've got millions and millions of bricks. You know what we're going to do? Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to use some bricks. Oh yeah. Red brick road. Now we've got brick road and then we've got red brick road. We're going to use a red brick road. And I think what we're going to do... Uh, I, I, I'm kind of wondering about like whether I'm going to put anything in here or... You know what? I think for now... I'm just going to like completely pave this. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave a gap. So this I'm going to run right across. Uh, oh, now, why is that? Does that need to be reflattened? Thinking it does. I'll ignore it for now. You know what? Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm gonna sort it out. Let me pause this for a sec. We're gonna have a quick flatten. Which this should be right, that's that flattened, and then this flattened. And make sure that yeah, that's all good now. I think. I think that's all good. So now we should be able to put our roads straight in. Red brick roads. And these are quite cool, these red brick roads. I do like the way they look. So yeah, I can put that straight across there. Oh, uh, why can't I? Don't I miss a square? Let's try it again. Sometimes you have to flatten these like more than once. But we'll see. We'll see if that fixes it. Don't know. No idea. No idea. Where are we? Red brick road. Here we go. No, that will not work. Okay. All right. Well, it's what it is. And, oh, this still won't go. Oh, man, that's blooming annoying. Okay, well, whatever. The um, the important thing is to get at least one bit done. And I'm going to kind of double this up now. Along here. Oh, three and three and three and three. And three. And three, and three. And no doubt I'll end up digging this up, because I always do. Because nothing ever goes in right the first time. Three, ah, ah. Ah, now. Ah, that's coming across here. You know what, let's just run that uh, to there, and like that. And once they've cut this down, we'll see what that looks like. Right, cool. Oh, man, it's a blooming nuisance about this bit that this bit won't do. I, I don't know what to do about that. The only thing I can do, you know what? Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do to try and get this sorted. We will try. What am I doing? Cancel, yeah, remove roads. We will try 
and flatten this area in one go and see if we can do it. Ah, see it won't it won't let us flatten that. And I guess it's because of this. You know what I'm gonna do? Well, I'm gonna remove this row and we'll we'll have a, a go at reflattening this. That's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, we we had a merchant show up. Let's go and quickly check on the state of him. Sugar cane! Oh, awesome. Oh, now, hang on. Pause for a sec. Just a quick sec, because I want to check. Have we already got sugar cane? I've got, I've got a sneaking suspicion I saw sugar cane before. Now, I may not have bought it. No, apparently. Apparently, no. Oh, good. Right, cool. Buy the sugar cane then. So let's uh, minimize this again. Sugar cane, 5,000 for sugar cane. Was that something that I've ordered? Yeah, see, Dad, see, that's why it was ringing a bell. Now, do I mind the fact that I'm paying over, because this is probably, this is probably 4,000 and I'm paying an extra 1,000 for it. No, don't care, don't care. Um, so I need like 1,250. Trade that bomb, and now we've got sugar cane. So now we've got sugar cane. We're making um, flour. We could make sugar cookies, dude. Oh, we've had a, another. Oh, good. oh, kill miner killed by a cave-in. Uh oh, right. Oh dear, we've got an outbreak of yellow fever, and guess what? We don't have any hospitals. So, <laughs> come back for the next episode and see, can I build enough, like a couple of hospitals in time to, to cure the outbreak? Oh my God, don't miss it.